When we think about the marvels of electrical engineering or the evolution of home wiring, our minds often drift to grand inventions, light bulbs, transformers, circuit breakers. But among the less celebrated heroes of electrical history sits a small conical piece of plastic and metal that has quietly powered progress for decades, the wire nut. These humble connectors have been hiding in walls, junction boxes, and ceilings across homes and businesses for nearly a century, ensuring safe and secure connections between wires. Today, we're diving into the surprisingly fascinating history of wire nuts, how they were born, how they evolved, and why they remain essential to electrical work, even in the era of smart homes and wireless tech, right here on History of Simple Things. To understand the wire nut significance, let's rewind to the early 1900s. At this time, residential and commercial wiring was becoming more common with the rapid electrification of cities. But safety standards were rudimentary at best. In those days, electricians would often twist bare wires together by hand and cover the exposed metal with cloth tape or friction tape to prevent shorts or shocks. Not only was this labor intensive, but it was also dangerously inconsistent. Poor connections could heat up, arc, or fail entirely, leading to fires or system outages. As the demand for reliable, safe electrical connections increased, so did the need for a more efficient, standardized solution, one that would protect both people and property. The invention of the wire nut was a direct response to this need. While twisting wires together and taping them was common, it was only a temporary workaround. The earliest form of a twist-on wire connector is credited to William P. Marr, the founder of the Ideal Industries Company. In the 1920s, Marr began experimenting with different ways to improve wire connections. He eventually came up with the idea of using a small reusable cap that could twist onto the ends of joined wires, securing them mechanically and electrically. The result was what we now recognize as the first commercially viable wire connector, a small cone-shaped piece of metal spring embedded in a plastic housing. This simple intuitive design meant that anyone, from seasoned electricians to DIY homeowners, could safely join wires without tape or solder. Mars' invention hit the market in the 1920s and quickly gained popularity, especially among electricians who were looking for quicker, safer methods of making connections. Ideal Industries called this product the wire nut, and it became the standard term for twist-on wire connectors. Interestingly, wire nut is actually a trademarked name by Ideal Industries, although the term has become genericized in everyday usage, much like Kleenex or Velcro. The name stuck, and so did the product, thanks to its durability, ease of use, and the sheer genius of its simplicity. The design has evolved over the years, but the basic principle has remained unchanged. Twisted on, and you have a secure connection. Through the mid 20th century, wire nuts saw several refinements. Manufacturers began to experiment with different materials to improve grip, insulation, and conductivity. Originally made with a metal spring and a bakelite or phenolic plastic shell, wire nuts eventually transitioned to thermoplastic shells that were more durable and flexible. Engineers also began tweaking the shape, adding wings or ribbed sides for better torque and grip, especially when working in tight spaces or with gloves on. Some wire nuts were designed to handle specific wire gauges or combinations of wires, while others came pre-filled with insulating compounds to make them more suitable for damp or outdoor environments. 
These incremental innovations kept the wire nut relevant as building codes and safety standards continued to evolve. By the 1960s and 70s, the wire nut had become a staple in North American wiring. Its use was codified in the National Electrical Code, making it the go-to solution for splicing wires in junction boxes and switch boxes across residential and commercial settings. Competitors entered the market, introducing their own versions and expanding the range of available options. Despite the competition, Ideal Industries remained a key player, constantly refining their designs and introducing new models tailored for different applications. The company even produced color-coded wire nuts to indicate their size and capacity, further simplifying the job for electricians and inspectors alike. In more recent decades, alternative wire connectors have emerged push-in connectors, lever-style connectors, and even screw terminal blocks. These new methods offer certain advantages such as reusability, clarity of connection, and ease of testing. However, the wire nut still holds a dominant position in the field. Why? Because it works. It's inexpensive, effective, and widely understood. For many electricians, it's muscle memory. Strip the wires, twist them together, cap them off with a wire nut, and move on. That tactile familiarity, combined with nearly a century of reliability, means the wire nut isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Today, wire nuts are used in millions of homes, offices, and industrial buildings around the world. They're produced by several manufacturers, available in countless sizes and configurations, and remain a required part of most building codes in the United States. They've become so integrated into electrical work that many people take them for granted. But behind every twist of a wire nut is a legacy of problem solving, experimentation, and a commitment to safety that stretches back nearly a century. So next time you flip a light switch or plug in a device, Take a moment to think about the connections behind the scenes. The wire nut may not be glamorous, but it's a quiet cornerstone of modern life, one twist at a time. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.